A shooting in the middle of a busy road in broad daylight just a couple hours ago. Let's turn live now to Brandon Simmons with the very latest on this. And Brandon, investigators are saying this was not random. That's a big point to make. Yeah. Yeah, this doesn't appear to be random at all. As you said, yeah, this shooting happening in the middle of downtown in broad daylight, something that we wouldn't expect to see happen right here at the corner of West 9th and Superior Avenue. You can see we're right across the street from the federal courthouse building, and that's where police say that the victim was in a silver Mercedes. He was driving his car, sitting at this intersection, when the suspect's vehicle pulled up next to him and fired multiple rounds. Now, one of those bullets hit the victim in the hip, and the suspect sped off heading westbound across the district. Detroit Superior Bridge nearby. Now, this all happened around 1 o'clock in the afternoon with plenty of witnesses in the area, including Cleveland mayoral candidate Zach Reed. Reed says he too heard those shots and saw the suspect speed away. With this ongoing violence that's been going on in the city of Cleveland, and you think about the violence we had this weekend, it's not really surprising anymore because the person I saw was, was a young male, and we just got to get the guns out of these young people's hands. Now, the suspect's vehicle was likely caught on nearby surveillance cameras, and earlier this afternoon, police were checking west side neighborhoods where they believed that that car was spotted, but so far, they have not been able to find their suspect just yet. Now, the car we're looking for is a black Nissan Sentra, and uh, police say that if anybody has information about the whereabouts of that car or the person who was involved in this shooting, they should call 911 or they can submit their tips anonymously through Crime Stoppers by dialing 216 crime, Betsy. Yeah, Lena Lai reported earlier in the week that crime is definitely on the rise here in the city of Cleveland and broad daylight shootings just is not the normal here. So certainly a concerning situation. Thanks, Brandon. For the